What's up blooms, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing my DIY recipe for a sea moss and flaxseed leave-in conditioner. All right, to start off, you're going to need some water, flax seeds, and an oil of your choice. Flax seeds are not only great for you internally, but also does wonders for your hair. Flax seeds are considered a nutritional powerhouse for the combination of protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and antioxidants. Sea moss is packed with vitamins and 92 minerals that are vital for maintaining healthy hair. Sea moss also contains vitamin A, which improves the sebum production on your scalp. Check out my previous video to see how to make your own sea moss gel at home. Now let's get into this recipe. Place two cups of distilled water into a medium pot on low heat. Next, add a fourth a cup of flax seeds to the water. The water will come to a boil and stir occasionally to avoid flax seeds sticking to the pot. I added about two to three tablespoons of marshmallow root to the recipe for additional slip. After 10 to 15 minutes, use a strainer to extract the gel from the herbs. Now I'm adding two tablespoons of Negus Banda's Super Growth Oil to the bowl, but feel free to use any oil of your choice. Okay Blooms, this is really important. After straining the mixture, allow it to cool for at least 35 minutes before moving on to the next step. We don't want to compromise the benefits of the sea moss by adding in hot flaxseed gel to it right away. After 35 minutes, I'm adding about half a cup of sea moss to the bowl. Mix everything until well combined. After adding more oil and sea moss, this is what the final product looks like. Y'all, look at the consistency of this leave-in conditioner. It's smooth, creamy, and made with all natural ingredients. Now I'm going to show you how I applied the leave-in conditioner. I ended up skipping wash day this week, but needed to add moisture back into my hair, and this DIY was a perfect way to do that. I started off by misting my hair with warm water, working it through, then applied a generous amount of the product. I'm finger detangling to get rid of shed hairs and to make sure that the product is applied evenly.
the definition that I'm getting with this leave-in so far, y'all. This leave-in has slipped and my hair is feeling refreshed. I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of the application process. Then towards the end, I'll share my final thoughts on the product and how my hair looks after. What's up y'all so it's the next day after applying my sea moss and flaxseed gel and this is what my hair is looking like i have a lot of definition but i also did get a great amount of hold so if you're looking to recreate this recipe but you don't want to have a lot of hold i would suggest to use half of the amount of flax seeds that i use in this recipe so that you don't get too too much of a hold now i don't know for sure if that would help 100 percent because i know using flax seeds you will get some hold anyways but cut the amount in half just to see if that would help but y'all i want to talk about this little concoction here and just give you guys my final thoughts so so far i really like this wash and go and for the fact that i only use one product i feel like i got really great results i'm gonna come closer so you guys can see what my hair looks like in a bit but something i wanted to mention about this is that you don't want to use a lot of it because of the flax seeds if you don't want to have a lot of crunch i would say don't use use a lot of this product and I also noticed that as my hair dried if you look really 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 close you can see a little bit of a residue either from the um, either from the sea moss or just the combination of the sea moss and the flaxseed together but I did notice as my hair was drying that 
you really have to be all in my hair for you to see it but there is a little bit of a residue left over now if you don't mind that's totally fine but i just wanted to mention it if you do want to recreate this recipe i do have other diy recipes that i want to try out with sea moss i definitely want to do a pre-poo use it in a deep conditioner so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that but for this being my first little experiment i really like how it turned out the consistency i love the consistency of this product the fact that I'm able to just put it in a bottle and I could just squeeze it that makes it very convenient to use when it comes to styling my hair use the good amount of it and you definitely don't have to but my hair was so dry and needed to be re-moisturized so that's why I went a little heavy-handed with it but you don't really need to especially like I mentioned before if you don't want your hair to feel crunchy but yeah I'm excited to see what else I can come up with using sea moss and of course I want to incorporate more Ayurvedic ingredients to those recipes but yeah let me know what you guys think of this sea moss and flaxseed concoction here but if you do want to see other recipes that i come up with using sea moss definitely stick around and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out but yeah y'all these are the final results a day later my hair has a lot of shine and definition and also a lot of shrinkage I come a little bit closer so you guys can see the definition a little more that's it for today's video let me know what you think of my diy sea moss and flaxseed leave-in conditioner or styling cream whatever you want to call it let me know in the comments what you think of it something else i wanted to mention about this product is that if you aren't going to be using any preservatives or any kind you want to make sure you keep it refrigerated up to a week or you can store it in the freezer so that it could last a little bit longer but make sure after you make this that you store it in the fridge so that it lasts if you aren't using any preservatives of the consistency of this leave-in it's so creamy but it also has a little bit of thickness to it i love the color I just love everything about this so yeah if you guys do try this out let me know what you think of it thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i'll see you next time <laughs>